Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Wednesday the 1st of April and we have new mods. This is not an April Fool's joke. We've got some absolute beauties, some monsters today. Starting off though, uh, we do have a new geo, it's Ningen Farms by Aussie Farmer, so there's a new Seasons Geo. Uh, a couple of updates to the TGS 26500IT runner by PM Modding and the TGS 41500IT runner by PM Modding. And then in front of us here, first of the mods, we've got the Dongreville, I'm never quite sure if that's right, Dongreville B132B by Simulagri Modding very distinctive colour you are not going to lose this in the yard really nice mod really nicely detailed trail hitch on the back beacon on the bottom a few options available on this colour is not one of them but there are a few options available uh, this you will find under trailers there we go the B132B uh, options available on this. Uh, this will run you three slots, which is next to nothing these days. Um, 27,900 litre capacity standard. Then we can go with extension boards to 33.6. Then we can go even further to 37.4. Then even further still to 41,200 litres. If you go with that option, that will take up to 55,400 to buy. Um, options on Wilbram, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin and Nokian. Under the Trelleborg, standard and wide. Under the Michelin, standard and wide. Nokian, just standards. And we've got design on the front here. You can have a bridge, so you can get up and have a look in and do whatever you need to do. Ladder on its own, bridge and ladder together. If you go with all those configurations, if I change the tyres, for example, to wides on the Trelleborgs, full capacity bridge and ladder, we're looking at 56,390 not bad at all so I mean then today it's a trailer but it's got a very nice animation on this we can with L1 and right stick up and down we can with R1 and right stick up and down adjust the the bar at the front so we can change the height depending on what you're towing with to get the right angle to get it level and as far as unload goes let's swing around some of the light I want R1 and triangle that's nice that goes up a long way Nice smooth animation, nice, t ni nice neat, tidy mod. Put the teeth back in by Simulagri modding. Very nice indeed. Let's turn that off and let's move on to these US spec, fully loaded, massive capacity. These things are incredible. They're incredibly high on the slot count, but the detail and options available on these is, I will honestly say, second to none. Um, the Griffin trucks that came out by North Modding Company had a ton of uh, options. Um, so I suppose, yeah, maybe similar to that. These do too, and they are incredible. So what we have in front of us, we've got the John Deere S600 series, we've got a John Deere S700 series, and we've got corn headers that come in this pack. Now, I've only got two of the corn headers out. We have 9.1 metre and 12.3 metre. There are two in the 9.1 metre, and there are two in the 12.3 metre. Different years with slightly different changes and options and things on them but even with these as well there are animations there are extra things we can put in there are knives there are stalk stompers um, different attachment types we can change the colors of the uh, the I don't know, I'm quite sure what they're called the, the well they're the tips aren't they I know they can be changed every now and again can't they um, the 612c here in front of me is uh, 2012 um, then they do a 612C um, 2019, 
no, not a 612, 712. So the 712 is a 2019 version. Um, and then you've got the 616C, 12.3 meter, which is a 2014, and the 716C, which is a 2018. So you've got a whole range of years in different sizes. Um, so, I mean, just incredible. We'll have a quick look over these, then we'll have a look at them all in the Mod Hub because they're just wow. The level of detail is phenomenal. Like I say, the animations and options is just wow. It's mind boggling. I mean, it, you know, I suppose if there's millions of people playing it, you are going to get some that are the same, but the, op the chances of getting two identical <laughs> are going to be very slim because of the options available. And there's going to be, well, I. I'll say something for everyone. I know there's this, you know, some people just despise John Deere for whatever reason. You know, like I said before, I'm not a necessarily a John Deere fan. I like them. I think they're really, really nice. I, I'm a fan of all farming machinery and stuff. I wouldn't say I've got one that stands out. But I know there's this thing out there where people either love them or hate them. The same with any other manufacturer. A lot of people hate Case for some reason and love John Deere. John Deere people don't like Case, but yes, it's so weird. I don't know. But anyway... I suppose it's not weird, everyone's entitled to their opinion. So the S790. Absolutely fantastic. This thing, oh man, this is a beast. And the other thing I'm going to say now, right now, prices, wow. Um, th this is going to, I hate to use the word because people get really angry when I do. Um, when the new class Lexian came out and had an 18,000 litre capacity, largest in its class, it was, pardon the pun, uh, but incredible. This is bigger and not too expensive. That changes things. I know the slot count's high, but sometimes I think there's a trade off and you don't mind if you're getting something that's worth the slot count I personally think it, it bugs me when you get a massively high slot count and it's actually not anything much different to what we'd normally get so these are different let's have a look first of all at the headers themselves you'll find these under corn headers now there are no standard headers there are plenty of John Deere standard headers in game and modded ones out there as well anyway and these are all pretty much compatible they should be compatible with everything else out there so like I said we've got the 612C the 712C these are both 9.1 meter uh, one's 2012, one's 2019 for years. But options available. We can change the main colour, and this is the tips, I think. If I get that right, we can have dark plastic. Yeah, so the yellow on there. Or the black tips on there. Design colour. Now, this is a weird one. John Deere Green is on already. Or black metal. And I'm trying to work out what changes... Oh, it could be the bits in between. No. I'm really struggling. Um, unless it's... could be the stalk stompers, maybe? I don't know, I can't figure out what it is that's changing there. But anyway, so, options on here. We've got chopping knives, which come in between the pickups. So, see flick on and off you've got chopping knives that come in there and it then says uh, stalk master on there when you put them on so you can have chopping knives it adds an extra 8900 we can have lights back work lights on there on and off like so attacher type we can change to have no or stand support I think that's stop the whole thing toppling backwards isn't it when it's I think uh, and then we've got stalk stompers, and these are brilliant. So you can have no, or you can have stalk stompers depending on the width of your tyre choice or tracks or whatever you're going with. So you can have standard stalk stompers. Now these are designed when you're doing corn and stuff, so that the stalks don't puncture the tyres and cause damage and stuff like that, because they can be quite uh, rigid and they can cause problems. So these things flatten those down as you go over and potentially protect your tyres. So you can have that one there, you can have a double, a triple, or you can go right the way across. So if you're running doubles, or depending on what you're running, maybe even triples, and you've even got stalk stompers under the middle section as well by the thresher unit. So there's a whole load of options on stalk stompers, and they are animated too, which is just incredible. Um, now, the options are of the same on all of these. 
it's an auger across the middle they're not draper headers it's a corn header there will be some slight differences and it's difficult without seeing them like like this like bomb 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 right next to each other but and even to be fair i got a couple out and had a look and i, I was struggling to see but there are differences options are all exactly exact the same chopping knives if you want them lights on the rear attach a type of the same thing again stand support stalk stompers same again all the way across like so and then we've got the larger 616c 716c these are the 12.3 meter headers these will all need header trailers because of the width of them getting through gates and fences and out of workshop areas and stores and stuff you're going to need a header trailer uh, for these unless you go for a capello header which you might decide to do but that's regardless that's not to do with these anyway prices do go up quite a bit though between the years as well when you think these are both the same um width 12.3 meters you can get a 12.3 meter one there for 89 grand or then go up to 119 grand so it just comes down to the year and you know the slight differences you might want to go for but the, the attention to detail on that is incredible so these run at 26 slots each for the first one as you can see there 26 that one says two because i've already got one so those are the headers We'll have a look at those in action in a moment. As far as the harvesters go, let's go across the harvesters. <laughs> this is where things get really interesting. <laughs> More interesting than they were. So we've got the S790 there, the sort of standard in game one for 390 grand, which I still don't think is too bad. Capacity of 14,100 litres. Wonderful. Slot count 47. So the slot counts are fairly high anyway on the John Deere's. Um, we know that, you know, unless they get really well. Um, lost the word for it doesn't matter it will come to me um so we've got the s680 to 690 and then we've got the s780 790 we'll have a look at this one first these will run you back for the s600 series 56 slots for the s700 series 49 slots so fairly high on the slot counts but like i say tons of options and i think there's definitely a trade-off for this um so i am slightly worried i haven't tried a normal head on one of these actually because coming back out of there that says the jigsaw puzzle pieces say 612 712 616 716 c headers are compatibilities but it does say they do all crop types so it must it must do normal headers i think that just means it's compatible with the, the mods they've got so anyway on with the options we've got standard 14,100 litre capacity factory foldable extension on the tank and now this is something i haven't come across very often is the options on tank so we can have factory static that doesn't fold that stays like that but still at 14,100 litres let's go in a little bit we can have full factory static and that changes this puts these little cover bits underneath you might just see that just closes in underneath then we've got tarp cover fixing so again it's still 14,100 litres but you've got the tarp fixing so that's just there just as an aesthetic then you can go with the actual tarp cover that's static that stays on there still 14,100 litres then we can go for the Maurer tip up factory that's 17,400 so we're already up around the class Lexian capacity on the S600 and look at the total price at the moment so we've got 17,400 litre capacity 206,000 that's bonkers but brilliant but the optional extras on this will ramp up <laughs> that price will will go up but that's amazing um we can then go with the big top tip up which takes you to 17629 uh, on your litre capacity which is incredible um then you've got the full mara so that adds the bottom bits on underneath again you sort of see it blocks them in and then you can go with the big top with the full factory and then we're back to the foldable so massive capacity on that interestingly which is quite weird is if you go for the foldable so you can pack it all the way when you're done that costs more than if you go for a 17,629 litre big top crazy isn't it so if you don't mind having a static open one you've got a bigger capacity for less money anyway tyre options we can have michelins and mitres those are your two options on your tyres 
when it actually comes to wheel setup then <laughs> got two wheel drive F800s and then you've got the rear facing so the tread pattern switches see it on the back tyre rear tyre, whichever um, then we can go with 60s so it changes it hang on sorry F900 60R 38s and then you can have the rear switches then we can have row, two row crops and then switches the back one to rear we'll just go with that because every, the second one of each of these it switches the rear tyre tread um, then we got F800s on uh, twins F650s on twins F710s on twins F800s on twins and then we're on to tracks so you've got the 30 inch John Deere and then we've got the 30 inch ATI tracks then we can have the 30 inch John Deere those are the nice extended ones so they're fantastic or you can have those in 36 so we've got a wider track width that's why you need the wider stock, stalk stompers if you're going on to ones like this we've got doubles and that kind of stuff um, and you can have those in ATI narrow and wide and then we're back to the standard so quite a few track options available on those or wheel and track options there's something for everyone now on the back we've got chopper tailboards you've got a standard tailboard or you can go with the advanced power cast which is rather nice things may have changed slightly when we come back out of this menu i got blue screened oh middle of recording bang everything went so just to come back and set everything back up again anyway we were at the advanced power cast um chopper tailboards so you can have those as an option um, right then we come back down again rear hitches we can have a standard rear hitch which is underneath you have no or a standard rear hitch puts it underneath or you can have an extended Lancota length 400 extended hitch or you can have a foldable extended hitch that gives us options there are some of these some harvesters do this already but it just made me think of something uh, which I'll show you in a bit as far as engines go we've got the S680 2012 version now that says plus 51,100 well that's standard you can't have anything other than that that's the engine you get <laughs> so that's kind of included in the price um, you can have the 2015 version which puts the price up a bit you can then go for the S690 2012 version which adds another little bit on uh, or you can go and that takes the horsepower from where are we so the f680 is 473 horsepower that takes up to 543 horsepower and then we can go for the 2015 version still 543 horsepower a little bit more expensive um, it's just the latest version uh, for 321 grand so you got all of that then we got option on rear axis axle axis whichever you want to say we can have a wide rear axle extra stability if you want to go for that and then we've got pipe options we've got a 6.9 meter we can go for a 6.9 meter foldable a 7.9 meter or a 7.9 meter foldable and those are all the options quite a few i think you'll agree so we'll come back out of there which brings us on to the s700 series now pretty much all all the options most of the options are the same there are some differences in the tanks and some in the tracks and tires so let's crack on have a look in there these did i say the slot counts on these i think i did but this is the 49 slot one the s700 so tanks this is where things change a little bit tank capacity is the same to start off with 14,100 liters factory foldable extension great we can have a static same capacity 14,100 and then we go up through the same options as the other one had so you can have the side bits added on full factory static then tarp cover fixing then tarp cover all still at 14,100 litre capacity then we go up one the Mara tip up uh, goes up to 17,400 then we can have the tip up the big top tip up 17,629 which brings us up to the biggest capacity of the S600 series we just looked at um, but then we go again you can have the full Mara full big top then we're on to this this is the Harvest Master Wyndham that takes the capacity up to 19,380 litres. That makes that the largest capacity of any harvester we've got in game. The Lexion took it up to 18. 
saying game on console that is this takes up to 19,380 litres which is incredible but it doesn't stop there let's go for an extension on that the tip up harvest master 22,905 litres now I haven't changed much else on this <coughs> this is 625 horsepower straight out of the gate I haven't really changed anything apart from that look at the price 228,000 for a 22,905 litre harvester that's bonkers and brilliant all at the same time <laughs> absolutely fantastic so that's the largest capacity in game on console ever unless someone goes bigger but anyway wheel brand options are the same tyres and tracks may be a little bit different the tyres won't be but we can Michelin or Mitres and then we can go through all the different options that we had before so with the rear tyre changing on each one as well so we got through the tyre choices twins then we go bigger on the twins like so then we move on to tracks now the tracks on this one aren't like what I like to refer to as like the barn shape it had a, a sort so, a narrower profile to it on the side this one's a more triangular version so we can have the narrower ones 30 or 36 inch then we go on to the ATIs still in John Deere well, no, now we're on to the ATIs sorry so the blacks 30 and then we got 36 and then back again so the, t the track options are a little bit different on this bit here compared to the other one chopper tail balls exactly the same we can switch that from standard to the advanced power cast and then same thing trailer hitches we can have standard fixed or foldable engine setup like I say we start on the S780 at 547 horsepower we can then go up to the S790 at 625 horsepower there aren't different years available on this one um, that's what you get but even with all those changes big tracks larger engine um, and the huge capacity that's only 347 grand that's brilliant absolutely fantastic bit of kit oh hang on rear axis sorry rear axis wide I forgot that and then the pipe options are the same again 6.9 6.9 hang on 6.9 6.9 foldable 7.9 7.9 foldable those are your options and that's all of the options available on those two so let's jump in the S680 horn lights standard rear work main and there's one on the pipe as well I love having one on the pipe if you are going to do any night work it just makes life so much easier um, so let's unfold this now if you've got the foldable top that's when the foldable top will open up but that opens up the pipe this is a 7.9 I think I went for on this I think I went for the 6.9 on the other one over there it's a fair old pipe extension on that down the back We've got straw swath, it's not enabled at the moment. Enable straw swath, brings that down. No, other way around, straw swath was enabled, now it's not. So that will spread it all out. That will allow straw swath. Beacons. But it gets even better in cab. So let's go in cab, turn everything off proper startup menus as well this is brilliant look at that how cool is that right lights if we look on the column lights on you've got all our options that go on beacon one can't pull a beacon one as if that isn't enough all of the uh, respective displays show exactly what they should do fuel consumption on the top one you watch as you accelerate you've got your fuel there bottom one you've got your revs you've got road to speeds um, when you're actually harvesting everything works it all, it's just incredible 
joystick does what it should do, as do the pedals. This is a really, really nice mod. So much detail. Those screens are incredible. Sounds brilliant. So, let's hook up one of the headers. And I'll show you what I mean about the headers as well. I'll show you the animations on those. Let's fold that up. So that's generally speaking how it will come. It will come folded up for transport. So when you want to unfold it, L1 and X unfolds. Once it's unfolded, then we go L1 and right stick and we can bring our stalk stompers up and down. So you can put those in whatever position you want. If I lower the header down into its operating position, then I can bring my stalk stompers down. I don't want them touching the ground, but just almost. Those will ride along, making sure nothing gets under the tracks and tyres, which is great. L1 and up and down raises up the um, side fins. They're generally speaking designed so that when you've got a lot of stuff, a lot of corn coming in, it doesn't fall off the sides and go out away from the header. It all gets forced in uh, to the header, so it depends on the capacity and how much throughput you've got. But, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. Hold it up, lift it up. That's off. Engine off. The S790, it's pretty much the same. Slightly, I mean, don't it's just me imagine it, slightly deeper engine note. This definitely sounds different to me. That looks incredible. So for transport, if you notice, when we fold that back up, the chopper at the back is folded away. When you open it up, that all animates and opens out as well. This is a slightly shorter pipe on this one. Pipe out. Same thing with the lights. I like that last one. That light on the on the auger pipe. I think that's brilliant. Head is exactly the same. Open it out. And then we can do our stalk stompers. And our sideboards, if we want them. Side fins, sideboards. And then inside, same thing again. Lights. Turn the engine off. I love that start up. I think it's fantastic. And there you go. Fantastic. Now, that got me thinking. Now, I know this has been done before with other things. This is nothing new. But I thought, with the extension on here, why not have an all-in-one package? <coughs> Depends what trade you want to use. But because that extends out a fair way, this will only work with the pin hitch... Um, dolly a lot of the dollies have a ball hitch which is designed to go on trucks obviously I say obviously not necessarily obviously on anything really with a ball hitch but this one's a pin hitch so this one will work with this flegal dolly i think it's a modded one with a pin hitch i've gone with the bsm 70006 isn't it i think um you don't have to go with this trailer you can go with anything you want I, the reason I went for this was because it's got a rear trailer hitch. So what you could do if you wanted to, you could put your header trailer on the back of that and carry your header out with you as well. Or, I haven't put a header on this, you can get one of the Capello headers that folds up 
um, put it in John Deere colours if you want to, then you can, you've got your whole thing will, is set up to go down the road, no problem at all. Um, but what I like about this as well, with certain pipe extensions as well, you jump in this. So you take this out and you're doing your harvesting, you're quite happy going along and you get a full tank. Um, and then if we just open our pipe out like so, now this will work with a static um, top a little bit better because the foldable one when you unfold it it unfolds the pipe already with the static one you can unfold the pipe whenever you want if I now open the cover on that when I've got a full tank what I can do if I want pull in this if I swing round like so I can unload into my own trailer <laughs> I love that idea and I say it wasn't my idea I've seen it before um, other people have done it before it's nothing new but I just thought it's worth pointing out with that extended trailer hitch it just thought that makes perfect sense then when you're done turn around again and off you go fold your pipe away and uh, your job done I just love that as an option now that does it doesn't um, catch there's no um, collision on the pipe or the trailer I think it's the pipe actually because I tried it with the different trailer as well the idea liner um, so if that, when that does open and close or you have it extended it doesn't clip into the trailer so I didn't have any problems with it kind of causing any problems with transport or anything it may not, not look ultra realistic like that but that's entirely your choice you can, you can disconnect open the pipe out and then go it's entirely up to you but I just thought that might be an interesting option um, but these are great um, and so is the uh, the Dongreville B132B by Simulagri Modding. So these were all by JHHG Modding. Um, the two harvesters and the corn headers um, are all by the same modder or modding team. Not sure. Um, but there you go. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>